Mark 7, 15 There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him, but the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. Shalom and nice to meet you again. Today's devotion is titled, God's word is a light to my path. This title comes from Psalm 117 verse 105. It said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Our reading literature for today is taken from Mark 7 until 1 until 23. The story can also be seen in Matthew 15 verse 1 until 20. At that time, the Pharisees and scribes were known as a bunch of religious people who showed seriousness in following the law flawlessly. However, their seriousness in following the law makes them fall into a very fatal error because all those things they did were the rules that their ancestors described from the law. So the things they thought religious were to do the rules made by their ancestors, not the rules that God has given to them. There were thousands of rules made by their ancestor, as we see in the species, for example, the rules regarding the washed hand in verse 2, and there are also pot, pots and vessels made from Cooper in verse 4, and in another passage we can see more about the rules of the Sabbath day, and so on. Through this passage, we can see that Jesus immediately reacted to them by rebuking their heretical attitudes by calling them hypocrites. He said, well had Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, and it is written, These people honored me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Isaiah has prophesied this in Isaiah 29 verse 13, Wherever the Lord said, For as much as the people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of man. From this verse, we can see that the worship they've done was in vain, because what they did is a human command, not God's command. In our situation today, this rebuke from Jesus will serve as a precious warning to us. One of these warnings is Jesus reminded us that the worship that we do is not only visible from the outside. There have been a lot of God's words that have been read, but it has no impact on his attitude and faith in God. The worship that has been held so far has passed away as a ceremonial routine only. This thing will become dangerous for us. Our behavior, our attitudes, and faith do not bear fruit. It will only bear pride and hypocrisy and thinking of ourselves as being superior to others. As we can see from this passage, when the Pharisees rebuked Jesus' disciples for eating without washing their hands first, actually, they rebuked was not about the principle or about health or cleanliness, but about uncleanness. Jesus answered them and saying that they really belittled the essence of God's commandments. He said, For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such things like ye do. He also said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. Because Jesus said, it is not the hands that need to be washed, but the hearts that need to be washed. For evil that comes of the heart is what defiles us in verse 15. Because from, from with it, out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murders, theft, covetousness, weakness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, Pride and foolishness in verse 21 until 22. These evil things come from within and it defile the man. Another warning from Jesus is that God's word is holy and that God's word has the power to guide, to direct, to rebuke, and to save us. The God's word is the presence of God who always with us in this life. But the reality is we can accept what humans say more than what God said. God's word is able to restore us, but we are more accepting of words that hurt us. God's word has the power to strengthen our hearts, but we are accepting more words that weaken us. We should be grateful that we still have guidance in this life. The God's word is our guidance in life, because the God's word is the source of life and salvation, and there's nothing more valuable in this life than the God's word. God gives us His Word as the source of all goodness in our life. There is no other way or other method to get happiness in life other than living on the guidance of God's Word. 
So that's all the devotion for today. Paul has written this once to Timothy in 2 Timothy 3, verse 16 until 17. He said, All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Thank you for watching. See you next time and have a nice day.